We are gathered here today as part of the Sheikh Symposium, the Coalition to Strengthen the HPV Immunization Community, which we are co-hosting together with Federal Ministry of Health Ethiopia and Ethiopian Society of Gynecology. This is an important step towards achieving the vision of a world where the number of women affected by sertoin HPV related cancer is greatly reduced. There are many challenges that we face, so we use the challenges as an opportunity for change. The most important thing here is knowing and mapping who are the stakeholders. So as part of this symposium, we have participation from 20 African countries, speakers from 16 African countries, and in total, 86 participants from Africa to discuss HPV vaccination programs. You know, cervical cancer, it's a terrible disease to carry. It's painful, very, very painful. It happens to women when they're older. And in our communities, they're also embarrassed. It's associated with sexually transmitted infections. So they stay quiet and only come when the disease has progressed. So for me, it's important that the HPV vaccine, really we are discussing it. Because cancer of the cervix, it's a killer of women. All that distress need not happen. We know what causes cervical cancer. It's human papillomavirus, and we know how to test for it. We have simple tools for screening, and you can diagnose human papillomavirus. Secondly, we can treat pre-cancer lesions at the primary healthcare setting in the dispensary. Number three, we have a vaccine, and we know that one dose works. I mean, that's just amazing, right? One job, it works. We should hold ourselves accountable and question how many more girls have been vaccinated. The truth is, as we push for the 90, 70, 90, that 90% 90 of the girls before the age of 14 should all be vaccinated, and that 70% of women should be screened and tested for cervical cancer. The problem is not the children. The problem is the parents, partly because the programs are not targeting the parents very well. So many parents do not understand what problem we are solving, how big the problem is, what happens if you do nothing. And therefore, the other challenge is having to get stakeholders who are outside the health sector. And this is something that I will take back home. We will foster our collaboration with Ministry of Education and Ministry of Gender. I think these two institutions are very critical. Le partenariat c'est primordial dans la vaccination et c'est pourquoi ce symposium là est très intéressant parce qu'on apprend de l'expérience des autres pays et de le partenariat. Mais ce que j'ai surtout bien aimé dans ce symposium c'est par rapport à la possibilité d'avoir une dose. Is there a biological possibility for single dose HPV vaccine? Well, the answer is yes. The evidence in this meeting that came out was strong that one dose is actually enough. So the symposium provides a unique opportunity. In my language they say, if you are the one beating the drum, you cannot enjoy the rhythm. You hear how other people are doing what you are doing, doing it differently, and they are sharing the results. When people put their minds together on a subject, you're more likely to find an answer. It also gives hope and recognition that it can be done. There are countries in Africa who have been very, very successful. Rwanda, beautiful example. We've just heard this morning about Ethiopia's success with coverage of vaccination. So this is something that we can do within Africa. And it can be done within the continent by Africans themselves. We can do this together.